Extreme Days. The Extreme Days. Extreme Days. Say we're living. We're living, we're living, we're living in Extreme Days. It's time for Christ here uh, with my second update and just wanted to throw out a thanks to all of you that have subscribed and, and uh, really given me some great feedback and um, just been fun uh, hearing from those of you that are serious about uh, what we're doing and uh, been fun to delete the emails from the, the, the wackos and the, the, the people that uh, just don't get it and uh, it's funny you know you put out all these <laughs> All these tips and like, hey, I want I want all of us to be safe because I'm I'm actually planning on hooking up with people with like mindedness. I, I I think one of the things that I've found out is that lone wolf tactics are just not going to cut it. So um, I'm, right now I'm I'm in the process of of trying to um, study personality traits and, and and assessment of people and the personalities with with first contact and and because. I want to be able to trust people that uh, that I meet along the way, and uh, if, if 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 it goes to martial law, if it goes to you know that what if factor, I mean, I'm going to need people with like mindedness, and I need to be able to assess whether they really are, or if they're just blowing smoke, or if they're they're actually hostile. So um, I'm kind of working in that psych psychological realm, and uh, it's it's uh, it's a slippery slope because I'm finding it to not be that easy to assess. So. Uh, I'd love to be able to do an update with what I'm finding, but right now it's um, it's kind of like uh, keeping your your uh, feet planted on uh, firmly on in, in midair, and so that's just not a that's just not a great uh, it, it, it's not successful right now. That said, uh, this update tonight, um, I was hoping my update was going to be on my med kit. Uh, my med kit's a work in progress. I'm going to describe that here in a second. Um, in fact, I've got to go over there and grab the the bigger part of it, but. Uh, what I wanted to update tonight, just a couple couple suggestions, a couple modifications, but but mainly the update tonight is is going to be the way I'm moving my gear. And um, one thing that I have found with with the gear removal is is um, I've just I've I've, I've kind of steered us all down the wrong path, or at least uh, myself and those of you. Hopefully, hopefully I can correct um, some of the, the the errors that I've made along the way. Um, <clears throat> a lot of questions about. My lock picking technology. Uh, I, the, the the two main kits that I use are the Southern. It's S O U T H O R D, and uh, both of them are the same company. This is my main kit that I, I do most of my high end locks with. The higher end locks, when you have multiple levels of protection and uh, and false um, locking and and, and 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 false positives on 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 the locks. Uh, they're, they're getting tricky and it takes a lot longer uh, to, to pick those so you know my higher end kit is one that I'm, I'm um, keeping now in my in my main pack uh, this is the one I still keep in my my smaller pack and again I'm going to explain to you uh, how, how I'm breaking down my packs because my whole my whole strategy has changed over the last year and largely because of, of what um, some of the suggestions from you some of the other uh, YouTube uh, guys that I, 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 I appreciate, um, but uh, again, the Southern is the, is the is the main kit I use. One of the things I've added since our last update is um, this tactical handcuff key. It comes, it looks like this, this little Zach pack, Zach tool. Uh, it's kind of a nice little kit. I bought two of them. So I always like redundancy, but basically, one of them is a clip, and in this clip is is it, it's actually a metal. Uh, metal handcuff key. So if you open this kit up, and it pops out, uh, you know, a handcuff key. Kind of a nice little 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 kit there, or a, a snap a snap thing there. And this one I like. This is the one that I, is the reason why I bought it. This one actually is a zipper tie. So you just put it on the zipper, and it just stays on the backpack, and you just kind of forget about it. Uh, if you remember, I mentioned this little plastic one, which I still like. Uh, but how to hide this, where to put it, you know, I like the idea of putting on my zipper. So anyway, I have both these still, but, but nonetheless, uh, just one that I've added. Um, I've modified my, my light situation since my last update. In my last update, I had uh, basically um, this extreme beam, which I really love, still love this. Extreme beam goes in my main pack. Again, it's a proprietary battery. It's the CR123As. Uh, it's these batteries here. Uh, what I've... What I've really worked on over the year, uh, the past year since my last update, is is consolidating battery types. So, 
um, I upgraded to what I think is probably one of the, the most amazing flashlights. And I did a lot of research on this, and I've, uh, I've put this to the test quite a bit. And I'm at, I couldn't recommend this more. Um, this little thing is, is called the Olight S15. And I'm sure some of you guys already know about this, but it's uh, 280 lumens. Um, it, but what I like about it is it's a double A. Okay? And if I want, there's an extension too, but I can do two double A's. But the power, 280 lumens on this thing, is incredibly bright and, and it's got three modes so if I hit it on and then hold it down it's gonna get brighter hold it down again it's gonna be my map reading which is gonna last for hours and hours and hours I forget the exact but it's like 200 and some odd hours on just a double leg um, but uh, phenomenal light just in, in, in what it is so for size in a double A um, you know versus the weight on this again as I'm gonna explain this uh, this goes in my main pack and this goes on my in my everyday carry or my my, my, my true bug out. So um, that being said, oh yeah, and the new addition to the family is this thing right here. It's an awesome ragdoll cat. This is my daughter's Christmas present. So if he gets in the way, um, just a little bit of a comic relief. But awesome cat too. But he's not going to go in my pack. The other thing I've added is is going with the Streamlight One Four Five uh, One Two Streamlight Compact Two uh, headlamp. Uh, this is a very versatile headlamp. It, it mounts to obviously the, the strap that, that uh, goes to your head or, or around your hat. It comes with a mount that mounts to your, your helmet if, if you're going to wear a helmet, which I've got one in my scenario. But the reason why I upgraded to this and the reason why I went with this, <coughs> excuse me, because I'm trying to get away from proprietary batteries and this one uses either a AA or the CR123. And let me just show you real quickly. If I go with, I've got a AA in here right now. And it's got three modes. So it's got the blue, uh, blue map reading, you know, IR safe mode. It's got the, obviously the, the um, full on uh, headlamp. It's got the red that, again, is good for, for, for uh, low light situations. But all I have to do, and, and, and again, there's no, Nothing other than taking out the AA, putting in a recharge, and this is rechargeable, CR123, which I've, I've got in my big scenario to, to recharge both of these, but I'm just going with two, everything with two batteries now. I've just switched over everything, everything to the CR123A and the AA. That's it, that's all I've got. Uh, and so this one, I can go ahead and put that, again, I'm gonna get more lumens out of this, but you can see again, blue, a little bit brighter on the, on the CR123 and the red. But I didn't have to switch any buttons. There's no additions. It's just it's just straight to go. It's good to go. So you can either use one or the other. And and on my everyday carry, I'm going only double A's on my um, my what if bag. Again, I'm going to describe here. Uh, I've, I'm, I have both the ability to recharge the CR123s and double A's. But that's it. I'm just going two batteries. And and so that's why I've upgraded to um, the S15 for my main light and this headlamp. So those are both double A's that I carry in my, every, in my everyday. And then uh, still go with the um, <clears throat> extreme beam and I can do, do the CR123s in both of these uh, with, my, with, my, with my main scenario. The other thing I've upgraded is my ability to sew and maintain my own gear. Um, the rain um, uh, military sewing kit is this little black bag here, R-A-I-N-E, rain. Um, I, what I've done is I've taken two kits. I also added the McNett M-C-N-E-E-T tactical emergency sewing, uh, sewing kit. And I was able to combine both these kits into this little, you know, this is the two kits that came, but again, a good sewing kit. But I was able to combine everything in this one, in this, by simply taking the, the seam cutter and cutting off about a half inch off the top of it. You don't need that because seam cutter is basically just a kind of a little thing that, that, that cuts the seam on a, on a stitch. But by just cutting the top off that, I was able to combine everything in the two kits and the combination of the buttons and the type of, of thread and the needles, um, great, great little addition for, uh, again, for those emergency situations, adds to my, my extreme gear, uh, you stay down, uh, kit. <clears throat> One of the suggestions that came in was adding this Sawyer Mini, and um, just 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 came in a couple days ago. And by the looks of it, for the weight versus my life straw, and looking at this, this is 100,000 gallons. Um, 
these are about the same weight, so I'm actually super excited about switching over to this. And I've thought about just keeping both because, again, water, water, and, I, and I've got a lot of iodine tablets and, and, and things like that to purify. But to have both of these, you know, use this until it goes bad. And the problem is you don't know when they go bad, so go with this the whole time. You know, I'm working with both of those back and forth. But nonetheless, thanks for the suggestion on this. The Sire, I think this is a great addition to my main pack. So, so um, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And I just want to describe a couple things here um, with, with uh, what hopefully update number three is. And, and update number three is, is, is close. Let me grab one thing over here off the table. Um, so just a little uh, primer for, for update number number two, or excuse me, number three. These are my med kits, and so I'm hoping to um, really break down what I've got in these. These are my these are my long range or long term um, big bag what if scenario uh, medical kits. You can see that much different. I, I actually bought a commercial REI one and. It's busting at the seams, but but I've got stuff in this. This is my everyday carry, uh, but I'd like to break down what I've got in this because this to me is my 24-hour just get home, and this is my at home in my big pack. Uh, if we've got to get out of Dodge, if we really got to leave our, our facility, you know these are the ones that that uh, are going to help us um, survive. So just real quickly, this is my trauma bag. This has all my my my, my um, uh, clot agents and and big, big time drama in this one. So that's a great bag and, and I'll, I'll explain that. And this is my main um, what if bag. And again, the, the, what I've got in this one and the way this one has transpired, you know, I'll break this down, but this is gonna be update number three. Uh, and my wife's a surgeon. My, my sister-in-law is an is a, a ERPA and uh, my mountaineering buddy that I climb most of my big mountains with. Um, is a is a physician that's got uh, multiple degrees in or fellowships in in in, in um, high stress emergency medicine, and so I've tried to run everything by you know those three and, and make this the be best packs or, uh, pack possible. Uh, but again, that <coughs> excuse me, that's coming in update number three. So stay tuned on that one. Uh, that said, the last addition I'm going to do tonight before I get into the main topic of tonight is the addition of a backpack. Um, this Recon 2 bag, if you look at these, these, these Recon bags, are, they're a little heavy, but they're actually super robust. And, and I think if, you're, if, if you really need a situation where you need uh, rugged warmth and, and you know, the elements are, are pounding in on you, these, these Recon bags are pretty good. I've got, I, I actually, it's kind of, kind of awkward, but uh, I was counting my, my sleeping bags tonight and, and before I did this, the shoot and um, I'm up over 10 sleeping bags for various situations for my mountaineering and backpacking needs. Um, but this one is one that I think in a, in a, in a true uh, bug out situation. Uh, this is a uh, 5 degree centigrade or, or 40 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, this is the one I'm carrying right now in my main pack. Um, up here in Idaho we're running about 30 but um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with about uh, uh, five to ten, you know, tens stretching it, but uh, where the bags um, recommended. I think the Recon three uh, drops down a little bit more to I think twenty five. Um, but again, for the weight, for a, for a good uh, synthetic bag, I actually like this thing. I don't like all the straps; a little bit heavy, but uh, good bag. So, so that's that's an addition as well. Okay, so name, main topic tonight is one that I really want. Um, uh, I have worked over the past probably four or five months in putting what I've got and what I put in my big 96 plus uh, video <coughs> together. And to be honest with you, I was appalled with how the backpacks performed out in the field. And my my uh, my 72 hour bag, 96 plus hour bag, uh, fully loaded is about 55 pounds. And about a mile and a half into my my uh, simulation. I was done, and I wasn't done because physically I was done because of poor equipment. So it made me rethink: what's the difference between these these good-looking, you know, emergency bags versus bags that are designed for for true mountaineering?
And the conclusion I came to was this, that these bags are designed to be in the back of your vehicle. And if you're running a, a 24 hour pack, you probably should be about 20 pounds. And if you're running what they call the 48 hour pack, you should be at about 25 pounds. These packs were not designed <coughs> for big loads, especially big loads over distance. So that said, um, I'm going to move away from the Tactical 511 24 and the Tactical 511 48. So these are two packs I talked about, and these, these were my primary packs, but um, fortunately, I'll just be honest with you, uh, these are going on eBay. And if you want to pick them up pretty cheap, because I probably have $300 in just these packs alone, uh, but they are not practical. So it's great thought, and all the little pockets and all the little um, ability to do the molly uh, was cool. But the weight and the suspension, the way these run, the, the, the suspension on these, they're not designed to move weight over time. And so um, they, they might sit nicely in my rig, and I actually like the black look and the molly and all the stuff, but practically, I'll uh, just be honest with you, they're worthless. And I feel like I've wasted a lot of money on, on, on trying to um, make these work, but right now, they're gone. So let me explain to you again tonight an update on, on my pack situation. And I just want to give you a quick breakdown on the packs that I that, that haul load over distance and that are, are tried and true. And so um, stay with me on this because I think um, I, 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 I think that if, if, again, those of us that have invested in these kinds of packs, um, while it's well intended, and I think that the designers of those that did their best, they're not mountaineers. They're not, they're not people that, have, that are comfortable on you know, big routes or distances with weight. So uh, let, me, let me break this down. I've got, um, I, 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 I use two different packs, and primarily one pack, and it's called Arcteryx. Arcteryx is brand right here, and you can see this brand, but Arcteryx is probably the premier gear uh, brand, uh, top in most of my mountaineering clothing, <coughs> my jackets, my, my gloves, my, you know, all my accessories are typically this brand here. And again, I'm not a brand, this is an Arcteryx promo, but, but what I have found with the design of these packs is that these guys know what they're doing. So, um, that said, there are, there, are, there are two or three packs, there's a, there's a type of pack that I would try to find if I were, if I were you on, on a, a true get out of town and being able to move lots of weight comfortably, and that's this series called the Bora. So, Arcteryx has what is called the Bora series, okay, so B-O-R-A. This is the Bora 40. This pack, I didn't change, I just grabbed it out of the shop tonight. But I, this, is my, this is my crampon bag. This is my uh, water bag to keep my ice from freezing. This is my uh, knife that pops off and I can cut rope uh, when I'm attached and, and, and when I'm mountaineering. And, this, and, and I'm hooked to four or five other guys on a, on a rope team. If, if we fall into a crevasse and I need to get out of it, you know, this is my quick, and I can cut the rope and get out of it. So this, this is a pack that's all set up and I just uh, summited <coughs> early summer. Um, I did a double salt on the middle sister and the south sister on this one. Great pack. Uh, holds weight. I think on this pack I was running about 40 pounds on that expedition. But again, 40 pounds, no big deal on the Bora 40. Uh, my main pack, again, same family. It's the Bora. This is, the, this is my, this is my go-to pack. This is the pack that uh, I have been to the top of Rainier. Um, two of my expeditions to the top of Rainier have been to the top of Shasta, Adams, Baker, um, hood. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I've been at the top on this one, but those are the big summits that I've that this pack has been at the top. The Bora 80. Uh, this is bomber proof. This, this this pack I think, and, and again they don't they don't. Unfortunately, Ar Arcteryx uh, did away with the Bora series. So if you can find this on on eBay or you know these sites that are trying to up, because I think they did away with them in 13, but. For, for comfort and, and honestly for ruggedness, this pack is the best. Now they're spendy. This pack here is about 400. The <coughs> Bora 40 was uh, in the low 300s and the one I'm gonna show you in my big bummer pack was over four, about 450. Um, but you get what you pay for. You know, these packs, that these, 
these um, bug out bag packs that I'm dumping over 100 bucks for, they're junk. So unfortunately it's a waste of 100 bucks. So one thing my grandfather and my father taught me uh, when I was young was that if you, if you buy junk, you're going to pay twice. If you, if you buy good, you're going to pay once. And so unfortunately I learned because I bought junk and they're gone. I'm not going to use those. These are what I'm going to use for my bug out scenario. Uh, these can move load. Uh, this one, I'm comfortable with this one anywhere from 50 to 65 pounds. I, I typically on smaller expeditions run 65 pounds in this one. And we're talking <coughs> hours on the trail, um, uh, thousands, literally eight to uh, 10,000 on, on some of our ascents and descents, uh, over 10,000 feet vertical uh, uh, gain and, and, and descent. And, and these, this, this thing is just bomb proof. I mean, this thing has got so much time on it and uh, it's got so much life left in it and you get what you pay for. This is a phenomenal pack. Uh, <coughs> that said, um, my, my bigger pack is the Bora 95 and this is the granddaddy of them all. This is the biggest pack, uh, one of the biggest packs that I know of in Expedition. And my last two Rainier climbs where I led um, was the team leader and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the senior guide on it. Uh, this is the one that I was hauling 92 pounds plus, 92 pounds without my counting my boots and my water, uh, and this thing just did phenomenal. And and so, if I'm going to need to do big loads, you know, all the all in, in my 72 hour, 96 hour pack that I that the three part series now that I re-uploaded, um, that gear total uh, without water, without food is 55 pounds. So the Bora 80 is going to move that no problem at all. In fact, I could even probably get the Bora 40 to be fairly comfortable with that if I could adjust it right. If I need to even do bigger, if I've got my family, my other family members, or I'm, I need to put extra food in, extra water in, I can it. <coughs> and again, I can move some weight comfortably in this pack. So um, that said, uh, my update tonight is, is a change from my original strategy. My original strategy was to keep my big 72 hour pack on board at all times. I've since, after studying, listening, reading, and, and, and really assessing uh, the uh, true you know, bug out situation. Um, oh, by the way, this is a great one too. This is what, this is what Ar Arcteryx is going to. This much lighter. I mean, those, those the big, the Boris series, super heavy. The, the nylon's super thick. They're also waterproof, so you don't need, you don't need shells or anything like that. Uh, whereas these, these uh, bug out bags, these, these tactical 511s are not water, they're like sponges. When I put this, uh, this um, uh, 48 hour pack uh, in, in the test where I said I could, you know, hour, mile, mile and a half down the road, I was done. I was done. And <clears throat> not only that, but when I, it was actually a, a kind of a cloudy, um, um, it wasn't drizzly, but it was snowing. It's kind of a sleet snow when I, when I did my, my uh, 24 hour um, test on that thing. When I finally stood up camp for the night, it was soggy. It, it just it had absorbed everything that was coming down. And again, it wasn't rain, it wasn't snow, but it was kind of a little bit of this light sleet. And uh, the thing was like a giant sponge, so you're just adding weight. But all of these are waterproof. All the bores are waterproof, so you don't you don't get that. <coughs> uh, but this is the pack uh, that I just summited the North Sister in, and the North Sister by far is of of, of I'm, I'm two I'm two summits away from summiting the the ten. Uh, 10,000 foot volcanoes of, of the Cascade uh, line, and this one I summited the North Face in, or excuse me, the North Sister. And next to Rainier, the North Sister is by far the most difficult. Uh, Rainier and the North Sister are by far your two most in incredible climbs and most demanding climbs. And this is one <coughs> that I successfully summited the North Sister in. And, and again, I, I had skis on, so I had I had skis strapped to this. So you know, this this pack isn't designed to hold skis. Yeah, because we did a ski descent on that, but uh, you can see that it, it got chewed up pretty well. But again, it held up. You know, there's just a couple little scuff marks and a couple little places where the skis might have nipped into it. But again, uh, phenomenal pack. Not not bomb proof like these Boras, but much lighter. Okay, about the same price. Not gonna. You, know, you don't dump down. You don't, with our tariffs, you don't dip down that much in price. But uh, they're really working on the design of making them lighter and again more efficient to carry in. And this pack was about 40 pounds when we did the North Sister. So a pretty small pack for that amount of weight. Again, much better pack versus these 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 uh, tactical bug out scenarios. So the, all that in conclusion, um, this is my new what if bag. Uh, my new thinking is this: 
And again, I would love feedback on this, your thoughts on this. I really appreciate um, those of you that have watched all three videos and the update. And it's funny because you can see the people that watched the first one and the thumbs down, thumbs up are, are you know, the ratio there. A lot of thumbs down, the thumbs up, and that's probably because I talk about Jesus and I talk about the Mormon faith. Um, I think that's where most of my thumbs downs are coming from. But those of you that have worked through two and three and then the update number one realize that the seriousness of this and, and really what I'm trying to offer. And again, it's not, this isn't about me. This, I honestly just, I, I want this information out there. But what I've kind of morphed into in, in my new thinking of this is to blend in just to get home. So my blend-in pack looks like this. This is actually my new bug out bag. Okay, it's a Mountain Hardware, my second favorite brand of, of high-end, <coughs> excuse me, a little tickle tonight. Uh, my high-end um, 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 maker of, of good mountaineering gear. And, and this is my, this is the one I carry in my truck right now. This is the one that, but again, <coughs> I'm gonna try to break these down in a new series on what I carry every day, my EDC, and then my what if bag, which is at home. So my big bag, whether it's the Bora 80 or the 95, depending on how much gear I need, and depending on where we are with, with um, the, this, this, this amazing narcissist we have in the office, um, this is the one I want to get home in. And I've, I've modified my dress and, and just to get home, my 15 miles to get home, <coughs> assess what it's going to take to get my kids home and my wife home. But then when we get home, what do we do next? And that's where my bigger bag, my 96, my 72 hour, my 96 bag that come in, and those are all ready at the ready if we had to uh, leave uh, our house and, and, and move out. Um, but this is this is the one I'm equipping for for every day. Uh, again, done with this 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 uh, worthless 24-hour uh, tactical uh, 511. Um, so my gear, my gun, my actually my gun's going to go back here now, and then I'm going to have my mags in here. But I'll, I'll, I can break that down. But the next update I'm going to do is going to be my my medical kits. I've had numerous requests to, to a medical kit update and so again the way I'm doing my med kit uh, uh, with w what I'm going to put in here versus what's going to go in my Bora 80 or my 95 uh, for the really truly the what if scenario um, again this is this is the what if scenario okay <clears throat> I've got things in here that I hope I never have to use or my wife never has to use okay we're talking trachea tubes and and chest wounds and suture and you know staples and things that you never never really want to use but 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 again we've got to have those for a real situation so that's what's in here I'm gonna break that down in update number three um, hoping to be about a month out on that I'm just waiting for a few uh, antibiotics to come in uh, from some prescriptions so I can have all that complete lay it out and describe it but again I hope this was helpful <coughs> I would look in if I were you on a, a conclusion on this look into the Bora series uh, they, they come in, a, I think, a small, medium, and large torso. All of mine, even the 40, is a large. Uh, I'm a six, I'm six four, six five, and I like that. The, 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 it feels good here on my waist, and again, I can haul some big loads. I'm very comfortable, very comfortable on these loads that I'm, I'm hauling on mountains. Nothing like this, this, these, these tactical 511s that just absolutely were worthless. Honestly, worthless. Um, uh, the way that felt on me uh, hiking and <coughs> in my in my what if scenario. I was actually appalled. Uh, it's one of those things where I was about half, I was about half a mile into my, my uh, trial run, and I was thinking, man, I'm done with this. And I tried to push it and got about to a mile, a little over a mile, and I was like, well, this is where I'm going to make camp because, not because of, uh, I can't handle the weight, but because of the weight distribution on this worthless pack uh, caused me to say enough's enough. So <clears throat> that's what I've got for you tonight. Uh, give me some um, feedback. I'd like to hear from you on, on packs and uh, what you're thinking, where you are with, with your pack. Uh, but uh, again, if this is helpful, um, give me some feedback. I'd appreciate that. Again, this is Stein for Christ. The way, the truth, and life. He's everything to me. So I hope this is helpful. Signing out. Until next time on update number three. We'll see you then. I do day. The extreme day. I do day. They we're living, we're living, we're living, we're living an extreme day. day.